Motion tracking is now available inside VideoLeap. This is one feature that might inspire me to upgrade to a Pro subscription. Follow any person or object in your video with our endless variety of stickers, text, GIFs, and images. Add a text layer. I'll double tap to edit the text and add my emoji. Like this. Of course, I'll need to resize the emoji so that it covers the face that I want to hide. And I'll move it into position like this. The motion tracking tool does not require the use of keyframes. I'll tap on the check mark to dismiss the emoji keyboard, move the emoji over to the side of my face, and let's use the motion tracking tool now. With the text layer highlighted, you'll see a new icon labeled tracking. Tap on it. When you do, you'll see this pink widget appear on screen. Place the widget over top of the object that you want to track. Tap the start tracking button and wait patiently. The video will take a few seconds to process. Hi daddy. <laughs> Oh, this is so cute. I'm a cute little bunny. Love you. I got a new iPhone. <laughs> now all I need to do is move the emoji back into position over top of my face. And then I'll play the clip once more. Notice that the face will be completely covered. You may have to do this one or two times just to get it right. But for the purposes of this tutorial, this is fine. Hi, Daddy. <laughs> oh, this is so cute. I'm a cute little bunny. Love you. I got a new iPhone. <laughs> if you're not happy with the results of your tracking, just tap on the reset button. Now I can export my video. Choose a resolution and tap on export. In order to work properly, there must be some separation between the face and the emoji. That's why I placed the emoji beside the face in order to use the tracking tool and then covered the face once the tracking was done. Here's the result. Hi, Daddy. <laughs> oh, this is so cute. I'm a cute little bunny. Love you. I got a new iPhone. <laughs> I'm going to add another clip to show you an example using text. As I previously stated, in order to work properly, the tracking tool needs some separation between the text I want to track and the object that the text is following. I'm going to add some text to follow the glass sitting on the table. If you are a YouTube content creator and going to be filming footage in public places, you need to be aware of background music because when you upload that footage to YouTube, you may get a copyright claim or even a copyright strike because of the background music playing in the restaurants. For that reason, I've removed the audio from this clip. I'll tap on text to add a text layer. You can use keyboard shortcuts to add text even in video editing apps, like I'm going to do here. I'll double tap the text. Watch what happens when I type this shortcut and press the space bar. My text will automatically be added. Next, I'll resize and reposition the text where I want it. Tap on the check mark to dismiss the keyboard and continue using the tracking tool. Tap the tracking icon. Before you tap on Start Tracking, place the tracking widget over top of the object you want the text to follow, like this. Make sure the cross is in the center of the object. Then tap on Start Tracking and wait patiently, just like before. Once the tracking is finished, the video will automatically play. And of course, if you've filmed your video in a public place, make sure to remove or unlink any audio that has background music if you're planning to upload this video to YouTube. To unlink audio, select your clip, tap on audio, and then you'll see an unlink option. Tap unlink, and then long press on the balloon thumbnail and drag the audio into the trash can to delete it. This clip now has no audio, and once the tracking is completed, 
I can freely upload it to YouTube with no copyright claims or restrictions of any kind. Keep your eye on the glass on the table and the text I added to the bottom of the screen as the video plays. When Monique picks up the glass, you should see the text move. I've left the text layer selected for demonstration purposes, but when the text layer is deselected, the text will not be surrounded by the pink box. If Monique were to set the glass down, the text would move back down to its original position. If you're not happy with the tracking, you could tap the reset button to export your video. Tap the export icon in the upper right hand corner, choose a resolution, and then tap on save. Once the export is finished, you'll find the completed video inside your camera roll. It should be the last thing you recorded. I upgrade to pro level subscriptions of most editing apps if doing so will make my videos look more professional or save me some time. Is the motion tracking feature enough of an advantage for you to upgrade to a pro level subscription of Video Leap? Let me know in the comments below.